everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, but you can call me Riri for short. And I'm a new creator on YouTube. Um, that's the best, I guess, label to give me because I'm a jack of all trades, so really you can't put me in a box. <laughs> but today we're gonna be talking about some really cool tips on how you can get ready for the new year. And also, the rules, the most important rules that you need to know in order to make sure that your New Year's resolution is successful. Okay? Okay. You know, some people tend to kind of like, be like, oh yeah, you know, like, oh, um, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that this year and I wanna do this and I wanna, you know, but then they kind of never really follow through. So we're gonna make sure that whatever we want to work on this year we're going to actually achieve we're going to put ourselves in a position to be winners in 2024 okay because i know that's right so i don't know about you but i'm super excited for the new year something about the new year i feel like just kind of brings out a different like aura you know it's the great reset and you just kind of get a start fresh like you know that that fresh start type of feel you know with the new year and i know a lot of people be like oh yeah new year same chick whatever and i'm all with that but i just feel like it's kind of like a chance to kind of like still be you but be a better version if you know what i mean like it brings that like energy like new beginnings motivation it's just kind of very much gives what needs to be gave and hey so yeah um now if you're one of those type of people who kind of like tend to be last minute and you're just kind of like haven't really gotten your new year's resolutions together that's totally fine because that's what i'm here to help you with matter of fact we need a cheers to this cheers guys to a merry happy prosperous new year cheers <laughs> mm. i remember last new year's it was so fun i actually went to the brave stadium good times I had a great time last New Year's um, I think the way that I brought it in kind of definitely helped me step forward into the New Year's I think I walked into it very energetic very excited hope you guys enjoyed some of my clips from last year what I kind of did for New Year's this year I have a little you know a little a couple activities planned so stay tuned for that I'll share that with you guys in my next video mm-hmm um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get into our video. Tip number one on how to prepare for the new year. Vision board. Vision board. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but pretty much one of the main things that I recommend for preparing for the new year is a vision board. I love, love, love vision board. 2024 is your year. It's the perfect time to do it. Don't hold back. Having a vision board has always been great for me, especially being that I'm a visual learner. Um, I love to plan out what it is that I'm working towards and being able to see it visually every day. So if you're someone who kind of wants to make a vision board, but you're not exactly sure how, um, some of the things that I would recommend is maybe just planning what you want to do career-wise next year or you know what profession you want to get into that you haven't gotten into yet well, after it do you want to be a singer do you want to be an actress do you want to be a vlogger do you want to be a rapper whatever it is that you've been wanting to do 2024 is the year to stand on business okay 2024 we are standing on business okay hobbies what are your hobbies i mean what are your hobbies? <laughs> Me personally, <laughs> and a hobby can be anything that you like to do with your recreational time. It can be anything that you do with your downtime. And that could be yoga, it can be the gym, it could be painting, paint and sips. Um, it could be 
a musical instrument. It could be learning another language. Whatever it is that you like to do with your free time that makes you happy, definitely incorporate that into 2024, period. You just can't have all work on your vision board. You need some type of like fun. One of my hobbies are writing poems and I went ahead and got this book. I actually got this from Five and Below. Um, and this book pretty much um, is a poetry book and you can pretty much like just write poems in them. And it's actually funny because I used to write poems on Facebook and just make them like my statuses. And I would just do them right off the dome and they would come out so great. Um, but then I kind of lost track of, of all of them. I kind of lost track of all of them and then I was like, you know what, I wish I would have actually written it down in a book. So that is one way I'm preparing for next year. You know, this is a hobby that I will be embarking on. Maybe you guys will get to hear some of my poems. Um, but yeah, also relationships, you know, it can be your relationship with God, with your family, um, with your friends. You know, where do you see yourself relationship wise in 2024? And last but not least, personal goals. Um, do you want to be more on time? Do you want to be more aesthetically pleasing when it comes to your wardrobe? Do you want to be more vocal? Do you want to wear your glasses when you're supposed to wear your glasses? Because I always forget to wear my glasses. Um, but yeah, whatever it is that you're working on for 2024, I would highly recommend you put it on a vision board. And kind of like, you know, as far as a personal goal, budgeting one-on-one, you know, reading can also be a hobby or a personal goal because, you know, for personal development, um, books are very, very great. You can always like enlighten yourself and learn more about whatever it is that you're interested in. So definitely. I also love this book. I got it from Barnes & Noble. If there is like, if you're one of those type of people who like usually maybe get distracted, you might start something, but then you get distracted with something else. You can get a book like this that can help you stay in line. You know, if there's a project or a goal that you're working on within the next 100 days or 50 days, 20 days, you can get books like that that can kind of help you stay on track with your goal, you know, with whatever you're working on. And I definitely recommend it. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend a wellness book. It doesn't have to be this specific one, but basically if you're someone who kind of deals with things internally and you're and you don't really want to like talk to anyone, but you want to improve on how, you know, your emotional awareness, you can get a book like this, a wellness book that teaches you about what you're going through and helps you be better with it, you know? Um, and you can also order online. You can get those on Amazon. You can pretty much order anywhere. Some other books that I really love for personal development and also to prepare for the new year and just an abundance mindset, I definitely recommend motivational books. Um, some of my favorites are The Four Agreements and The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F. I totally, totally love these books. Okay, I love these books. I love these books. I love, I love, I love, especially this one. This one, the writer, let me see, Mark, Mark Manson, you did your big one with this, okay? This book, it kind of like, it kind of sounds like the voice in my head, like, you know? <laughs> like, seriously, like, but, or maybe I'll do a review on this book if you guys want to know more about it, but I totally love this book. It actually comes with a orange paperback that goes with it. I don't really know what I did with it, but <laughs> definitely recommend motivational books um, that can help you kind of, you know, think big because that's the whole point is to think big. Okay, now this is one of the biggest things that I think is important for being prepared for the new year, okay? You need an organizer, you need a planner, you need it. You need it, you need it, you need it. You need some type of journal. It could be a journal, it could be a diary, it can be an organizer, because most organizers actually have like a calendar. Um, this is the one I use for uh, this year. And it also has, you know, I don't wanna get, I don't wanna open everything, but I'm gonna, you can kind of see I, I wrote some notes in it, but you can kind of see like 
it has enough space for you to like literally plan out every day and even take notes or even journal in it if you want to get yourself a journal okay you have to like if you want to be successful in 2024 you have to keep track of where you started and where you want to be and then you have to work towards that every day you cannot just say like oh i want to do this in 2024 or i want to you know be a you know a journalist in 2024 but you're not even tracking where you started or or what method or strategy you're going to use to get there so i definitely think journaling diarying if that's a word or just you know keep an organizer and jotting down what it is you're working on every day i think that's very important especially if you want to be successful in 2024 <laughs> I don't know about you, but one thing about me, I need a clean environment, okay? So one thing that I did to get ready for the new year is declutter, 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 okay? I cleaned out everything. I went through my clothes, I went through my shoes, I got rid of so much stuff I don't wear anymore. Some of the stuff that I actually don't wear anymore is actually going to be on sale, so watch out for my closets. I will be posting the link to that probably in my next video, but yeah, I will be getting rid of a lot of my clothes that I just don't wear anymore. So declutter your clothes, um, declutter your phone, like whatever pictures, videos, whatever apps it is you're not using, just get rid of it. Create space for the blessings that you're gonna receive in 2024, okay? It could even be your laptop, it can be your car, whatever it is, declutter. Just get, matter of fact, clean everything, declutter everything all across the board, okay? It is very common for people to have scarcity mindset. Like, what if this happens? What if that happens? Like, I wanna do this, but I'm scared this will happen. Well, guess what, if you continue to like, procrastinate and hold yourself back and keep worrying about what if guess what you're always going to regret not ever doing it 2024 is the year you probably slept on so many great ideas that you had in 2023 2024 we're not going to let that happen okay 2024 we're breaking out of fear and we are chasing our goals okay period and another thing that you can do to make sure that you are breaking out of fear is get an accountability partner and if you're one of those people that's like well i don't really have a support system how am i going to get an accountability partner well guess what you can find different type of group chats there's so many out there a very common one is facebook facebook has a lot of groups that you can join and you know where other women support each other or, or people in the common areas or a city support each other and you can definitely find someone who's working on the same things that you're working on and you guys can hold each other accountable and make sure you guys are achieving everything you set out for yourself in 2024 anything that you're doing in your daily routine or if there's anyone who you feel might be toxic to you that is hindering you from your goals it's time to cut them out and put yourself first, okay? I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first, Lucian. And, and you don't have to necessarily cut them out for the rest of your life. You can just kind of cut people out for just a little while while you focus on yourself and focus on your goals, okay? You can actually just let them know like, hey, I'm working on some goals and I don't, I just don't have as much time as I used to. Set boundaries for yourself. Prioritize yourself, okay? One of the most important things that I want you guys to do is I want you guys to reflect on the past 12 months and I seriously want you to ask yourself is there anything that you felt like you could have did better is there any opportunities that you feel you missed out on why were you late did you not communicate did you not network what are things that you felt you could have been better at I want you to write those down and put that on your vision board because when you look at the things that you probably didn't do as well as you wanted to it then gives you a chance to prepare for the next opportunity or the next time that situation presents itself and you can be better at it and lastly I want you to ask yourself what are the things that you felt like you did good this year you know like you know what did you achieve this year that you're very proud of that 
that you did well? Like, did you get a new job? Did you walk into that career goal you had for yourself? Did you go to school? Did you graduate? What are the things that you did good? And what are the things that help you get there? Those are things you also need to highlight so that you can identify what are the things that do work for you and add that to your daily schedule or your strategy with approaching your goals. I will be linking a New Year's resolution template in the description. So make sure you click on it, print it out. Or if you have a laptop, you can just click on it and edit it in your Microsoft Word. And I want you guys to go ahead and just list out, you know, what are the things that you wanna work on? It's not too late. Walk into 2024 feeling confident, more secure. Now, some of the rules that you must know in order to have a successful New Year's resolution are, for one, making sure that you commit to your New Year's resolution. Kind of like what I said earlier, a lot of people kind of like just say things but don't actually put any actions towards it. There's no such thing as prayer without words. There just isn't. You have to put a foot forward and stand on business, okay? We're standing on business. Like, you have to commit. You have to take it serious. I mean, actually work on it, you know? You don't have to be the best at everything, but you have to put your best foot forward. So whatever you decide to commit to, as far as your goals in 2024, whatever it is that you're working on, you have to be realistic. You wanna set goals that are achievable within the next year. Or at least knock out some steps in order to get to a bigger goal. Whatever it is that you're working on, figure out what you wanna do and put it on paper, you know, write it down. Um, whatever it is that you're thinking about doing or whatever goal that you wanna achieve, write it down on paper, okay? You're also creating a blueprint that you could follow and keep. Rule number four, once you make a plan and you write it down, stick it on the wall. Number five, this is so important. This is so important. I mentioned this earlier. Track your progress, okay? Track your progress. Everything that I'm saying is in alignment. You want to like keep an organizer, some type of journal, some type of schedule, some type of check off list so that you can be able to track where you started to where you are now to where you want to be in a few weeks, a month or however so long it'll take for you to achieve that goal. You have to be able to track what you're doing because if not, you'll get lost in the sauce and especially when you have so much stuff going on, it's hard to remember everything. So just make life easier for yourself. Stay organized and track your progress. And last but not least, rule number six is reward yourself. I'm very big on this one, okay? I'm very, very big on this one. Self, reward yourself. I'm one of those type of people, when I achieve my goals, I go and take a trip. Stay tuned because I do have a travel vlog that I did recently. And yeah, I had a ball. I had a blast, a ball, I had a time. So yeah, reward yourself. Like, okay, it's so important because when you reward yourself after achieving a goal, subconsciously, it's gonna motivate you to achieve more goals. It's gonna make you like, it's gonna make you like more excited to do things on your to-do list. Like, oh yeah, okay, if I knock this out, boom, I'm going, I'm going here. If I knock this out, I'm taking a trip here. If I knock this out, I'm buying myself a new pair of shoes that, you know, I've been wanting. Whatever it is that you like, to reward yourself with, you will see how much internal motivation that will give you to achieve your other goals, okay? And that's period. Thank you guys for tuning in to my video. I'm so excited to be in this space and I have so much great, great videos coming your way. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And tell me, what do you wanna see? What type of videos you want me to make? I actually shot some videos for you guys um, the week before Christmas, so I'm going to be dropping that soon. Yeah, so stay tuned. I got a lot of great stuff coming for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! And remember, success is when opportunity meets preparation. <laughs>